Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide for something very different today. A theme park here in the United Kingdom that I've never been to before. Today I'm here at Sundown Adventureland to come and check out all of their offering. Now this is a family theme park where you do need a child to come in. So we thought it would be a perfect opportunity to bring my wonderful goddaughter to the park to come and get on some rides and experience this park. Now there's no roller coasters to go on here at Sundown Adventureland, there's no creds to get but there is three different dark rides and two of them are themed to Christmas. Uh, there's also a Robin Hood themed dark ride and lots of different smaller flat rides as well. Of course, all aimed for the under 10s. So I'm looking forward to this today. We've just walked in through the entrance and I'm just seeing my uh, friend over here, the old man. So let's have a little sit down with him, shall we? And just see what, what is he's... What oh. you're doing? Someone's sitting there. Oh, I've come to ride some dark rides. That's what I've come to do. But uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Yeah, let's do it again. Here we go. Let's go sit on there. Whoa. Oh, I didn't see you. Sit oh, he says something there. different. Made me jump. You did. There we go, the old man. But uh, yeah, welcome to Sundown Adventureland. It's going to be a bit different. Like I say, you do need a child to come into this park, so we thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to come down and uh, yeah, come and do all these different rides and see it all. So come and join us here on quite a nice sunny day at Sundown Adventureland. It's going to be a bit interesting. This one, some weird stuff like the old man that we can see just there. It's going to be a bit of a weird one. So as you can see from a first look at the buildings here at Sundown Adventureland, it's a very nicely themed park. Opening hours today, 10 o'clock through until 4 p.m. You can see, of course, you've got the uh, ride close time advertised on boards there. I imagine there's quite a few around the park, but yeah, look at all the uh, details here on the buildings, like little shops to go into. That's the Santa's sleigh ride over there, a mouse tail. So I'm looking forward to that little dark ride to check out and there's three dark rides here to enjoy got some nice fresh bananas down here as well and of course it's all decorated for halloween as well you've got the hay bales and the pumpkins out but i tell you what it's a goat <laughs> this feels like a theme park abroad in terms of the theming and decoration around here it's a very nice plaza area um, and it's got uh, just a lot of detail on the buildings Kind of reminds me a little bit of Fantasyland at Disneyland Paris with some of the uh, very European style to all the buildings around here. It's very nice. Well, I tell you what, we've only been in this park about 10 minutes and already I'm really impressed with the theming and decoration. This is Shotgun City, of course, a Wild West themed area. Look at this, we've got a dentist just over here. Looks like he's, uh, he's gone out for lunch. He's back at 2.30 though, back at 2.30. There we go. But yeah, look at all the decoration. Lots of different interactives everywhere. They've got like a pet shop what you can go into as well. So I'll have to check out that. You're right there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> this is brilliant. Like the theme in here is fantastic. Got the saloon just over there as well. Looks like you can actually go into there as well. Another little walk through over in that corner. We're heading down towards uh, the Sherwood Forest ride first to go and check that out. You've got the spiders up there for Halloween as well. Spider's web. And look at this guy down here. He's in like the horse trough. Livery stable, another little walk through. There's just so many details. You know me, I love stuff like this. Quality tools sold here. There's loads of like little things to see. Telegraph office. We've got this fella down here. You're right. <laughs> I tell you what, already, we've been here, what, 10 minutes? I can't believe that there isn't a roller coaster at this park. Like, with a park that's already advanced this much with theming and the overall experience, I'm surprised they haven't got a small little coaster. We've got the Rocky Mountain Railroad down here, which might sound like a coaster at first, but this is a little tracked ride, which is going to take us around through these caves. So we'll have to check that out. And they've also got the large pumpkin over there as well, of course, out for Halloween for you to have a little photo in. It's like a mini uh, Frontierland. So we decided to make our way to the back of the park just here because traditionally it's a lot quieter when you come towards the back of a theme park, especially when you get here for opening. And here we go, it's Robin Hood's Merry Adventure that we're coming down here to experience. And you've got this whole medieval themed area. Look at all the details. I can't believe how good the theming is. It's got a little uh, chicken up there as well. And wanted Robin Hood, we've got to go and find him. So here we go, we're going to head onto this uh, attraction just down here. Let's get the little one out of the uh, push chair. Seems like push chairs have to be left sort of outside in this area. And we're gonna go and enjoy Robin Hood's Merry Adventure Ride. So yeah, let's go and see what this uh, dark ride has got in store for us. First ride ever here at Sundown Adventureland. Yeah. 
Here we go then on Robin Hood's adventure. So thought it was a dark ride, but it seems like it's mostly outdoors. But I think there's a dark ride scene in that castle off to the side. Look at the horses on the front. <laughs> It's actually got a driver in the front as well, which is really interesting. Quite a good quality animatronics, especially in that castle scene what we went through just. So this is Sherwood Forest. Have you ever seen such enormous oak trees? I can't believe how many details there is though for a small little part like this. It's so underrated. Like I've just not heard much about it. I think that's because of the not being a roller coaster. You don't really think, oh you know, a park without a roller coaster isn't gonna be that big, but actually this proves that that isn't the case. Can't wait to explore some more of them indoor areas. The pet shop, have another walk through um, Shotgun City and see all of that. And now we're deep in the heart of Sherwood Forest. So it looks like we're heading forward now into another dark ride scene. Sun's shining today, it's beautiful. Ooh, slowing down a little bit here. Oh, wow. You're here, friends, just in time for your feast. Hold your noise, King Richard's back now. Well, I was really impressed with that. More of an outdoor tracked ride with a couple of dark ride scenes uh, than a full on dark ride. But I believe the two Christmas dark rides are full on. So I'm looking forward to seeing those. And if the theming in that is anything to go by, I think we're going to be in for a treat with the theming in those, uh, especially with them being Christmas themed. Then we're going to sit on a sleigh in one of them. So that'll be interesting. Uh, but there was a lot to look at on there. So much theming, lots of animatronics. There was audio all around. It's a very well themed park, this. And we definitely uh, underestimated it. Like we didn't really realize the size of this place. Uh, when we came onto the car park and saw a massive tarmac car park and a bigger entrance than we was expecting, we thought, yeah, I think we've maybe come into this place with um, quite low expectations, but actually, um, you know, you really shouldn't because it's a pretty big park and there's a lot to see. Perfect for the little ones to enjoy. But anyway, we're going around this corner now into the farm area because there's some more animatronics to enjoy. So I imagine these are gonna look really nice too and also very well themed. So we've just come into this little farmhouse here. Oh, look at this. He's in the bath just over there. I think we all know someone who has a bath like that. Look at all the soap. <laughs> all the sound effects. And they've got smell pods in here as well. Loads of theming. It's not just on that side, but also over here as well. I'll tell you what, them muffins and Bakewell tarts look good, don't they? Oh, look at this strawberry tart down there. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, look at the little chicks down there as well. Bless them. Now, unfortunately, Charlotte couldn't be with us today. She had to work, but she would have loved it here because she could have met Alvis, the goat just over here, who's biting someone's shoe off. Hey, if we had a goat, that would probably be what it would do to me, to be honest. Let's uh, think about that one. But uh, yeah, there you go. you got all these different things to look at around here. Got some brooms there, some lighting. He's up there on the roof doing a bit of uh, fixing there, aren't you, mate? <laughs> And of course, that's the dark ride, uh, an outdoor attraction that we've just been on. You sort of came around this corner and that was the dark ride scene. There we go. Looks like we can actually milk the cow over here as well. Martha the cow looks like she needs milking. So do we actually, uh, does it do anything? No. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Get them udders. Yeah. Oh. Uh, are you all right with that? Oh, she's smiling. It's all right. Do you want some more, Martha? Here we go. Oh, there we go. That's it. Martha is loving that. 
I know I keep saying it, but I'm genuinely shocked at how well themed this park is. Look at it, we've got a pig driving this truck now here on Sundown Farm. Loads of different uh, interactives. Cluck, cluck, boing. There we go, oh, loads of different sounds. <laughs> got the hand sanitizer on the uh, on standby today as well. Of course, we're touching all these buttons. Make sure that we sanitize. All this around here, loads of stuff, can't believe it. Oh, I like how that's like the um, little badges, what they've got there, the rosettes that are the buttons. We've got a tractor ride over here, it seems, so we'll go on there at some point. Little car down there. Brilliant. Right then, so just around the corner now, we're going to step into the old cottage just here, which is actually the entrance for the tractor ride as well. So we're going to step in through this way. As you can see, you've got to leave your push chairs outside with these attractions and queue lines as well. But there is plenty of space for you to do that. So yeah, let's go inside. Let's go and get on the tractors. Here we go then, only waited about five minutes for that. So yeah, no real queues so far for things. And it's got a bit of onboard audio, this as well. We've got a nice Bose speaker down there. And here we go. Got some carrots down there. <laughs> Looks like they're supposed to move, maybe. Looking at the bottom of those, maybe. Nice little bridge area there to go over. Some ducks. Oh, there they are up ahead. <laughs> it's quite a gap in between tractors. Hey! <laughs> Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's where I was stood just, isn't it? In the farm area, just off to the side. Quite a long layout on this, by the looks of it. I think we've got a little dark ride scene coming up around that corner as well. Sweet corn there. Scarecrow to scare all the birds away. <laughs> I don't know if you're doing a very good job. There's some birds just over there, mate. <laughs> What's going on down here on this farm? Got a bit of uh, palm reading going on. <laughs> Little caravan. Oh, <laughs> oh no, look at the goat. <laughs> I like how much movement there is on the figures on these rides that we've done so far. We're looking forward to seeing the Christmas rides. I mean, you know me, I love Christmas as it is. And the fact that, you know, these Christmas rides are here all year. Um, even if you come in the summer, Easter, Halloween, it's always Christmas here at Sundown Adventureland. Going into the barn now. Lots to look at again around here. These cows over on the left. <laughs> Looks like quite a lot of real farming machinery that they've brought in here as theming. Well, that was another really well themed ride. Quite high throughput as well. Lots of tractors going around on there. I just want to say about the social distancing measures as well. Loads of markers on the floor, hand sanitizer stations, and of course, uh, ride staff cleaning down, it seems, after every ride. Um, so yeah, really impressed with the measures what they've put in place. In terms of the ride, it was very well themed. Um, lots to look at. Just that small little dark ride section, which was the barn. Um, but again, there was lots of like farming machinery and lots of little things that I really like to see when I come to these parks. But I'm really impressed so far we're going into this castle now it looks a bit like Disneyland it's not just any castle though it's actually the lollipop it castle hey you can see the lollipops there on the top so let's go down this way and go and see this nicely painted up oh wow and here we go oh look at the ice cream fountain oh that is awesome Oh, the smell pods in here as well. So they've got the smells pumping out. Oh, it smells delicious. Look at all this. Got all the seaside rock down there. I'm loving this. It's got flakes in. That's just how I like it. We've got candy canes over there. Honestly, this place is so well themed. Can't believe it. It's a hidden gem. Bubblegum station. We've got a few different indoor areas to walk through as well. So I'll put my mask on. We're gonna have a little walk through. I do like the mask sign. You got the mascots of the park. I'm wearing the masks just on there. Oh, if you love licorice, this is the place to come. And then we got this guy who's making some stuff in here. How you doing? We got any, uh, oh, there we go. Some interactive buttons. Oh. Making licorice all sorts, aren't you? Oh, there they all are down there on the floor. I'm not a big licorice fan myself, actually. But there you go. 
Oh, so much stuff to see. Go and carry on walking around this castle. Look at the size of that turnip. It's absolutely huge. <laughs> Let's carry on up this way. Have a look inside. We're going up the castle now, up the turrets. It's really giving me fairy tale forest vibes from Efteling. Oh, I love them biscuits. Oh, look at him in the mirror. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh, the lighting in here, more cakes. Gingerbread man. <laughs> it's like they're asking me to just go up there and start singing. Got the big microphone, that's a huge mic. All the notes up there as well. Great photo opportunity for the kids as well. You can just come up here. Have a nice little photo. I'll have to bring those guys up here to see this. Back downstairs, they're now in a little building to walk in. Look at the size of that calculator. Hello. Here we go. I think it's already been activated, this one. Or maybe they're supposed to move, I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love mints, especially after eight mints. Polos, oh, this is like my heaven. And even smells of mints. They've got the smells in all of these different rooms. That's what really makes it. <laughs> Who goes there? It's me, Sean. <laughs> if it had spoke back to me then, that would have been scary. Oh, donuts. Gingerbread man. I love it. The size of some of these scenes in here is amazing. And I tell you what, we all want a Russell Hobbs toaster. Look at the size of it, here we go. It's massive, can you imagine waking up on a morning to a toaster that big? Have your slice of bread, stick it in the toaster. <laughs> big plate as well. Wow. I bet kids love this in here. I love it, I'm 27. What a fantastic family walkthrough. All the smells that are in there as well really make it. Heading back down now into Shotgun City because we're going to try out this little, uh, what, Big Thunder Mountain style ride it seems on the left. So we're going to check that out. It's clear there's quite a lot of Disneyland inspired attractions here and walkthroughs. I mean, the colour palette on that is very similar uh, to that of Fantasyland at Disneyland Paris. But I tell you what, they've done a great job. We've got all the pumpkins, uh, hay bales, spiders, cobwebs. It's so well themed around here. And what really makes this Wild West area as well is the fact it hasn't really got a proper floor. It's all just sort of um, like all the different bits of rocks, what are on the floor, all the different wood chip uh, that really adds to the Wild West feel um, with this area down here. But here we go in Shotgun City. We're going to check out this attraction next, just over here. Here we go then, so we actually waited about 20 minutes, there's the conductor, and off we go. at quite a speed through these different scenes, doesn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at this. All oh, the rock work, the little bridge. soaring through there. There's so much going on on this. I kind of wish it was going a little bit slower just to be able to take the scenes in. Oh, there we go. It's like you listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> All the rock work. It literally looks like Big Thunder Mountain. Here we go. I think this is the grand finale of the ride from looking at the outside. Oh, gotta watch them out. Danger. I think there might be a bit of an explosion coming up. Oh, wow. 
Watch out for the TNT. Well, I really enjoyed that. Some great theming around there. So much to see. You've got the waterfall, the little bridge area. Very heavily themed ride. And I'm loving all the rock work around there as well. So much theming uh, and so many little details that really make it. I do feel like the train went a little bit quick through some of the scenes, especially towards the start. Um, you didn't have to look left or right. There was so much going on. Uh, but now I really enjoyed it. You can definitely tell it's had a bit of inspiration uh, from Big Thunder Mountain. Obviously, it's not a roller coaster. It's a track ride. Uh, but in terms of the theming and all the different elements around it, um, it was great. I'm really impressed with what we're seeing here today. We've just had a look at the map, and it seems like one of the Christmas rides isn't actually open today. That's only open during the Christmas event, which makes more sense. That's completely understandable. We were under the impression it was open all year, but yeah, that one is only open at Christmas, it seems. But the sleigh ride is open, so it means we'll have to come back at Christmas at some point and see the other dark ride, which I'm sure we definitely will do. So we've got this other little walkthrough attraction just to see here now. As you can see, we've got this animatronic snake. There's another little fella down there as well, hiding. <laughs> there I am. Whee. Let's have a little walk through here. Loads of interactive buttons to press and theming to see. Da, 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 da. What would I know that from? Seems quite familiar. Oh, look at this! Absolutely awesome! I feel like I've stepped into the jungle book. <laughs> Brilliant, all the different buttons, all the interactives. There we go, what did he do? There we go, oh, that's it. Hey! Oh, this is brilliant. I like how he's playing a snake there at the back. Paris up there as well. Oh, this is brilliant. Now that looks like a fun ride in there, doesn't it? Them monkeys are living the dream, spinning round. He's on like a swing down there at the back. Oh, where's he gone? There we go. Oh, that's it, he's going. Going into a treasure chest down here. Yeah, we'll definitely have to come back at Christmas to see the Christmas dart ride. Just walk past the building for it actually down here, so I'll show you that a little later. But yeah, all the interactive buttons, great for the kids as well, because of course you can just sit here in your push chair, looking up and enjoying all the theming. Press all the buttons. Oh, got a little mermaid over there at the side. And this is our first glimpse here at this pirate themed area and the little boat ride that you've got. All the walkway up there as well. Bert the seagull at the top there. Charlotte would love it here. We'll have to come back at some point. But yeah, a little boat ride. Can't see many boats going round. We'll have to go round there and get on that shortly. Oh, there's another seagull over there as well. <laughs> Very well themed though, yet again. So what's really interesting here at this park, they've actually got an IP, Angry Birds. And as you can see, they've got this Angry Birds play area. This reminds me very much of what they used to actually have at uh, Lightwater Valley theme park in Yorkshire. They used to have an Angry Birds area. I mean, it's not got that um, Angry Birds licensing now. The play area is still there, but they took all the Angry Birds theming away. But yeah, you got a couple of other small rides here as well. You got a little teacups over there. And we've got this little pig ride, which I think we're gonna go on. This bouncing pig ride just over here. We like these here at the theme park worldwide, so we're going to give this a go. Well, cancel those plans because I've just found one of my favourite ever rides. I absolutely love these. It's the Wild Ostrich Safari, or as I still like to call them, a Los Patrillos. That all started because at Port Aventura, uh, they've got one where you literally sit on a horse. But here, we're going to sit on an ostrich. Like, how awesome does this look? So, yeah, we might go and do the pigs as well, but I tell you what, can't wait to get on this. Love these. You've got the little parrot animatronics up there as well in the queue line. And this looks like one of the newer rides here as well when you look at it. <laughs> I like how he just emerged from behind that wall. Yeah, it all looks quite fresh and quite new around here, especially when you look at the roof in. I'm not too sure exactly when this opened, but here we go. It's the Wild Ostrich Safari here at Sundown Adventureland. <laughs> Hey, here we go! Didn't have to wait for it either. Straight onto my ostrich just here, bobbing up and down. <laughs> I've always liked these ever since I was a kid. But yeah, it's Los Patrillos at Port Aventura that I did when I was little. I absolutely fell in love with these. But yeah, I can't say I've ever sat on the back of an ostrich before. Definitely one of the newer rides here. You can tell with the style and the theming around here that it's all a bit newer. I'd say in the past few years from looking at it, I mean, the whole ride system looks really new. 
all the theming and decor around. Oh, that big elephant there squirting out some water. <laughs> oh no, they're getting soaked down there. I would love to see this place get a little coaster and I really think they will do in the next few years. I mean, you just look at this park and all the theming, it's fantastic, but a coaster would complement the offering so much here, it really would. Here we go on my ostrich. <laughs> Snake there as well. We're really having a great day down here so far and my goddaughter's really enjoying it and all the different rides that she can go on. Uh, she's just under 0.9, but I tell you what, there's so many rides that she can still experience here, uh, which is fantastic. She can't go on this because uh, she's got to be a little bit taller. However, she's got on loads of different rides, so it's certainly great for the small kids as well. Bear in mind, she's just under two years old and there's loads of things that she can go on here. Hey, here we go then. On the guinea pig ride. <laughs> Why not? You've got to make the most of it. It's one of these where you go around the corner and it lifts you up. There you go. And you get bounced in a bit of air time. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's loving that. I <laughs> just didn't know what to make of it. I don't think, bless her. Yeah. <laughs> I do quite like these. Like I say, you've got the little teacups ride next to it as well. All here in the Angry Birds area. That was the ostrich ride up there. There's a little driving school attraction around that corner as well. We're going to go and check out the boat ride, I think, next. The pirate boat ride. I don't think she knows quite what to make of it. <laughs> cool. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. We've got another little walkthrough. Oh, there we go. He moves forwards. Didn't realise. Got another little walkthrough now. After going on the pigs just there. Da -da -da -da. The three little pigs. Here we go, another little walk through all these different buildings. There's a windmill over there, we've got the bears down here. That's supposed to be Goldilocks, is it? I think. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs over here. A very popular little area. Oh, I think normally you can actually go inside there, but it's obviously blocked off at the moment. I imagine because of social distancing. It says adults mind your head, so yeah, maybe you can actually go inside there and around. Here we go, we're going into the old mill now. You gotta mind your head. Is that a doorbell or does that activate something? Oh, here we go, it's tiny in here. Hello, you got some flour for me? Thank you, a nice bag of flour. <laughs> What's this do? Ah, okay, it spins that in there. There we go, make some more flour. Here in the old mill. And Rumpelstiltskin disappeared into the ground. Press the button. What we got in there? Is so gold down there? The Here we go, Jack and the Beanstalk now. Oh, I'm tripping up. <laughs> go on, watch yourself. So many like little details and stuff around here. Got a cow over there as well. You right in there? Things to do. 10,000 shirts for the king to be ironed on that little ironing board. Don't fancy doing that. Time oh. Leading time is cleaning time, I like that. <laughs> Here we go, we're gonna enter grandmother's house now from Little Red Riding Hood. Here we go. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? Nice loaf of bread down there. What else we got? Oh, some nice cups of tea for me, lovely. <laughs> Let's have a little peek through the curtains. Oh no, there's a wolf in the bed. That's not grandma. <laughs> Not about Riding Hood, quick, get out. There's so many little areas to walk into here. It really is fantastic and so much to discover. Don't think we're even gonna get to see it all today. Um, but yeah, we're going on this little pirate themed boat ride now. Can't see loads of boats going around. So I think we're gonna have a bit of a queue for this one. Look at the amount of people waiting. But yeah, I'll take you on board. Let's go and see what this is like. Here we go then, so we wait about 15 minutes for that one. And here we go, we're in our pirate barrel. We might start to tip a little bit here, but we've tried to uh, oh, balance the weight out a little bit. Here we go, quite a lot of theming. I like the flickering torch lights up there. So this is like another little walk through just above here as well in the pirate area. 
complete kaboom. Oh, oh here we go. The war effects are coming in. Oh, phone's ringing. Hello? Hello? Yes. Nobody there. Oh, I like how the rock works done as a skull up there. And that's part of the uh, play area, it seems, up there as well. Got the bars up there. Having a little bath in the water. The warthog over there. When I was a young warthog. I won't ever do that again, I promise. <laughs> to be honest, we're doing all right here. We're not tipping up. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but we're all right. We managed to distribute the weight quite well. I thought I'll swap onto the GoPro because people look like they were getting quite wet coming in. Oh, oh here we go. Bit of a pirate ship over here. <laughs> you enjoying that? <laughs> oh. She's thinking, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bit of a water effect on the side there coming around this way now. I don't think it's the longest to ride this one. Quite a short layout, it seems. Well, quite a lot to look at. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, when they say you get wet, they're not joking. You do get a warning though. There is signage and also the operator does say to you before you uh, get on as well. So they do make it quite clear. We've got this big octopus coming up now. Nice big octopus. There we go, spin around a little bit. I'm enjoying it though, it's a nice little ride. Here he is. <laughs> nice big octopus and here we go coming around to the final part of the ride nice little attraction i think we've got another big uh, water effect coming up oh and the barrel squirting out some water nice little pirate themed boat ride that quite enjoyed it and some good theming not too wet but there's some uh, squirty moments on there here we go we've got a hungry crocodile down here now Loads more buildings and stuff to walk in down here. So much to see. Quite good movement on that. Right then, here we go. It's time for a dark ride now. It's Santa's sleigh ride, a mouse tail. So yeah, we're going to go and check this out. The show building for it doesn't look huge, but I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. So you've got to think when you're reviewing something like this, I'm 27, I'm not the target market for this. We're having a great day, I'm loving it. Here's a little look at the entrance just here. There we go, so let's go inside and see exactly what this is all about. Oh, wow, look at all the theme in here in the queue line. Here we go, you've got all the bears around at the side. Oh, all the decorations. Really nice. Again, loads more interactive buttons. There we go. Oh, they're getting married. How cute. What's really cool in here as well, it's designed great for the kids. You've got like all these little areas where they can walk up and see through the glass windows. Got like little tea parties going on. He's just sitting in there, chilling out by the stove. <laughs> got a nice little winter scene going on. And here we go. Strictly no adults in the front of the sleighs. But hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Look at this. Here we go. Yeah, it's quite interesting how they have this Christmas ride open all year, but the other one is only open at Christmas. You know, I think, you know, it'd be nice if both of them were open all year, really. There we go. Let's go and uh, get on board our sleigh. Here we go then, past the Christmas tree and into the lights. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas has come early this year on Theme Park Worldwide. Jack Frost. Oh, wow. snowman oh this is beautiful and you come here all year and step into Christmas Sleeping. 
Was that the turkey doing the cooking then as well? <laughs> Reindeer in bed. Oh, all the trees and garlands. So well themed. Oh, big advent calendar. I would love to see the other Christmas dart ride. Right? We'll have to come back. That's a nice effect. Oh, that was wonderful. What a great little dart ride. Fantastic. So we just had three laps round on there. Like it was absolutely brilliant. And the little one really enjoyed it. And the theming in there, the smells as well are amazing. There's just so much going on. It's permanently Christmas in there and it's absolutely brilliant. The trees, the garlands, uh, the lighting effects, the audio, it all comes together in a really magical experience. And like I say, the smell pods in there, uh, much like around the rest of the park, they love putting the smells out there to really add to the overall experience and the full package that's on offer here. I'm really impressed, a bit good the other Christmas dart ride isn't open uh, but we're gonna have to come back at Christmas to see that I don't know if we'll make it this Christmas but if not definitely next year uh, I know that it's a trackless dark ride the other one uh, and it was a big investment for them so I'd love to come and see that and we definitely will do at some point in the future but you know, that was brilliant we've got to have another lap round on there again at some point um, before we go um, anyway we're gonna have a little now inside the pet shop which is a little animatronic area just off here so let's uh, go and see what this is all about here we go then welcome to the pet shop, which is literally an animatronic pet shop. There we go, the clue's in the name. There we go, press all the different buttons. <laughs> Got the parrot there. I love it. What's the cat gonna do? Oh, oh I see, they all start joining in singing. So maybe if we press some more, is that for the dog? There we go. I'll see, you just go around and get them all singing. That's it. It's gonna get a bit noisy. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, there we go, there's somebody uh, on the toilet in there. Look at all that toilet roll. We needed that during the lockdown, didn't we? Toilet roll shortage. <laughs> Got some snakes up there. Well, he's just here. Oh, there's no button in that one. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's supposed to be. I think the button's gone. There we go. I like how the stuff low down as well for the kids. Like if they're in the push chair, um, you know, you can just sort of park them up at the side here and get to enjoy all the different animatronics. Really good. Tortoise just there. There we go. Here's next week. <laughs> it's getting going again. I like how the speaker is disguised as a carrot there as well. Brilliant. What a really nice little uh, walkthrough. <laughs> there we go, the pet shop. Here at Sundown Adventureland. So even got plenty of wicker baskets up there on the ceiling. Not wicker man, wicker baskets. So here's a look then at the facade for the night before Christmas ride. And yeah, look at this. I mean, it's very impressive out the front, but it's even better inside. Like I say, this is a large trackless dark ride. You've got the Christmas tree here that's all covered over at the moment. Uh, but yeah, you can see the lights and the baubles underneath. Yeah, I bet this is fantastic, especially after seeing the theming throughout this park. We've got to come back and see this at some point in the future. Um, like I say, originally we thought this was open um, all year round, but yeah, it is just open for Christmas. So definitely a reason to come back here to Sundown Adventureland to come and see this in action the night before Christmas ride. Back here then now in Shotgun City. Just thought I'd show you all the theming around here. You've got the mascots that are actually done in the rock work over there, which is brilliant. I really like it. The population, oh, it keeps going down. 56, 53, 47. We're down to 41 now. <laughs> but yeah, it's brilliant around here. Gonna have a little walk up the top now. But yeah, look at this. So much theming around here, it's brilliant. A little bit of tonic there as well. Yeah, it's gonna have a little walk around this uh, top walkthrough section. I think it goes through these buildings just over here. Got four kings. Yeah, and the other one's got four nice little UV uh, show going on around there. It's quite tight in here. Oh, these are little areas to walk around. We're literally above Shotgun City now in the buildings. Ooh. Oh, it's like a never ending tunnel. There you go. That's cool. Quite spooky around here. I wonder if it's normally all got this spooky theme or if that's just for Halloween. I'm not too sure. Hey, and here we are. There you go, the little ramp just there. 
Oh, you got some great views of the theme in. Oh, what a nice overview of the area. The saloon over there, the general store, the bank, Hotel Sundown. What a great theme in. Oh, got a little slide to go on it. Hey, oh, it's <laughs> the little wooden slide. And this brings us out down here, back onto the bottom level. There we go, you can come down some steps though as well if you wanted to. What's inside here? The county jail. Let's go and have a look. So we've got the sheriff over there who's reading the Nugget newspaper. But I tell you what, I don't think he's seen this snake down here on the floor. That snake's going to get over there. It's going to bite him. It's going to bite him on the foot. <laughs> got the little jail down here as well. Here we go. Into jail. That's it. <laughs> Looks quite comfy, that. E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a horse but I didn't hear you singing at all. I was singing. I was singing. Why are you telling me that I wasn't? Donald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... Rats. Where's the rats? Oh, there's the rats over there. I can see the rats. Here a rat, there a rat. Everywhere a scrawny rat. E-I-E-I-O. Oh, he's got a funny laugh. Go on, have some apples. What do we do now? Oh, here we go. Forever blowing bubbles. They're all coming out of the building. What a nice way to wrap up our day here at Sundown Adventureland. All the singing barbers out here. <laughs> Look at that. You right there, mate? All fantastic. I feel like I'm back at Disneyland. It's beautiful. What a great day. But what an absolutely fantastic day we've had here exploring Sundown Adventureland for the first time. I really like this park and of course I'm nowhere near the target audience for it but it's been great to take it all in. The theming and atmosphere here is brilliant and anybody can enjoy that. Of course you do need a child to come here to the park. I brought my goddaughter today and she's absolutely loved it. It's been great to take in all the atmosphere, see her enjoying the rides and like I say she's under 0.9 and there's still been so many rides that you can enjoy here. Um, in terms of the social distancing measures, uh, cleaning down the rides after every cycle. Um, it's been fantastic. I'm really impressed and I definitely recommend a visit here to this park. In terms of my favourite ride that I've done today, it's definitely going to be the Santa sleigh ride. Um, I thought that was absolutely brilliant and we'll have to come back at some point in the future at Christmas and come and see the other Christmas ride. It's a trackless dark ride. It was built by Garmondale, a British company and I'd really like to come and see at some point in the future. Uh, so I don't know if it'll be this Christmas. I'd like it to be but if not we'll definitely look at coming for next year uh, and coming to experience that. In terms of my favourite area here in the park, I really like the Wild West Street, um, Shotgun City, um, all down that area. Uh, and what really makes it for me is the fact that you've got the ride down at the end, of course the railroad attraction, uh, but then you've got this wonderful Wild West Street with all the different buildings and interactive scenes. And the fact that the floor in there as well isn't just tarmac through it. And um, it's got all the wood chip and that's what really makes it for me and adds to the theming. Uh, the maintenance of the attractions here seems really good as well. Some of these buildings look really old but they've been painted up and they're in a good condition. You know, you look at them and think, yes that's old but it's not in a state and it needs repairing. Um, everything looks really good from what we've seen. I look forward to following the park in the future. The one thing I really think this park would thrive from is a little junior roller coaster. Something a bit like Octonauts at Alton Towers, Troublesome Trucks at Drayton Manor, something of that style with the theming what Sundown Adventureland do, I think will work really well at this park and would take them to the next level. Um, and I think that's another reason why a lot of people hadn't heard much about this place because it hasn't got a coaster. A lot of us, especially roller coaster and theme park enthusiasts, we always look on the roller coaster database and think, oh, there's a coaster there that we can get. And then we discover the rest of the park with here it's not like that you know there is no coaster but you've got to come here and just take in the experience of it and like i say you do need a child to come in um but you know if you can come down here for a family day out i'd certainly recommend it and we'll be back at some point in the future hopefully at christmas to come and see that trackless dart ride uh, we've seen what they did with the sleigh ride and everything else i think the theming in there would be incredible i can't wait to uh, come and see that at some point in the future but there we go it's been a fantastic day and thanks for joining us for another vlog here on theme park worldwide that leaves me with one more thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you in the next vlog